What's up, I'm Paul Rabel with Maverick University, and today I'm gonna to talk about moving the goalie in your windup. More times than not, when people talk about moving the goalie around with fakes, it's usually in tight on the crease. However, there's lots of ways to get the goalie to move to your advantage as a shooter from outside 10 and 12 yards with a time and room shot. So what I'm gonna demonstrate is a way to get the goalie to crouch or stand up tall by just moving your shoulders up and down as you wind up. A lot of times the goalies aren't looking at the head of your stick because guys are so good at hiding the head of their stick nowadays, so they're following your shoulders. When you dip your shoulder, you're going down. Obviously, when you pull back higher, you tend to stay up high with your shot. So there's ways in windups to really get the goalie to move by starting low with your shoulders, coming high, and then shooting low. There's a move that I like to do. It's called anticipating the goalie's next move, where if you catch it, you have time and room, and you drop your head of your stick, the goalie will tend to drop with it. So as you drop it, he's down, and if you can bring the shot from down here to an overhand motion, the next thing he's gonna do is see the head of your stick, so he'll follow it up, and then that's when you yank it down. So you may catch it, drop your stick down, come up high, and then pull it back down low. So as he's moving with the head of your stick, he's down, he's up, and before he can get back down, he's sort of off balance. 